Hey, this is Dave again, and I'm a customer service agent supporting the Dolphin Quest My Photos website. This is the second video in a series of tutorials to help you learn the Dolphin Quest My Photos website. In this video, we're going to we're going to cover signing in as a returning member, the photo options page, including submitting a request to download all of your prepaid photos, and the shopping cart. Okay, in our the first video, I showed you how to create your account from from scratch um, and also use your guest IDs to claim your photos that um, were provided to you by the staff the photo staff at Dolphin Quest when you come back into the website you do you don't need those uh, photo claim IDs any longer you simply need to sign in as a returning member so when you come to um, DolphinQuest.com my photos web page just hit over this to this claim uh, this sign in tab next to claim and we're going to enter the same email address that you use to create your account along with the password and hit go now before I before I hit go if you ever did forget your password you could hit this forget password link and uh, our system would email you a new password and in the third video I'm going to show uh, I'm going to show you how you can change your password back to something that's more easily rememberable so we're going to hit go and we're right back to the my photos page where we left off in video one now um, the goal of this video is to share with you some of the things you can do with photo options uh, if I want to uh, edit a photo or order photo prints or photo gifts uh, I can just simply click on the photo I want to work with and that'll bring it into the my <clears throat> the photo options page and there's there's quite a lot going on here even though it's not a complicated screen but there's uh, quite a few options this image that you're seeing is representative of the input image that came right off of the camera it's roughly a four by six aspect ratio um, so this is this is what what came right from the site the original input image the first adjustment that I have I've got a slider over here on the left side so if I wanted to zoom in I can just left click and drag up and I have the ability to zoom in and if I don't like that I can zoom out by left clicking and dragging downward put it up to some place that I like <clears throat> I can then edit the photo within the within the frame <clears throat> notice the crosshairs um, in the picture I'm going to left click and I can drag up down left right to position to position the picture at a place where it makes sense um, when you're when you're finished with that look you can hit save and that will be saved in your account you know because the scenery is so beautiful at Dolphin Quest um, the, the 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 staff there elected to not provide borders or any kind of graphical treatment to the photos but if you wanted to you could add a border uh, to add a little artistic treatment to the photos and we do that over here right here under borders we're going to click on um, the border tab is highlighted and right now the blank borders are selected so if we wanted to see what borders are available we change blank to borders and now I've got um, quite a large palette of choices to choose from now notice that this is a portrait photo um, or vertical you would want to choose a portrait or vertical border just click on it and that border is applied and once again I can still edit the photo within the border so that it looks nice if I didn't like that one I can choose another one and the next border is applied and next border is applied so on and so forth this one has a holiday theme to it uh, there's a nice variety of borders if you so choose if you don't care for borders just click on blank option and select the blank and the border goes away so in addition to borders there's also uh, quite a large selection of stickers that you could apply to your photos and so we want to click on the sticker tab and you could choose the um, category that you like here's one called cute animals 
and there's a number of dolphins and other animals. There's one called interactive, so if you wanted to give the dolphin bunny ears or simply apply the dolphin quest graphic or assign a happy birthday graphic to the photo, you can do that very easily. There's a couple others in here as well. Um, these make the photos fun, they customize them, they make them unique, and it's a great way to put some whimsy, put some um, fun uh, into a photo that perhaps you wouldn't be able to do uh, on your own. If you want to resize, you can simply grab a corner, drag, and resize, or if it's too large, just push in, and when you're happy with it, you could hit save. And just like with borders, if you don't care for the stickers, you can just drag it off and it was no longer applied and uh, save it save it without. <clears throat> it's, it's your choice. The photo options page also allows you the opportunity to order um, photo print products and photo gifts. So in a case with this one, if I wanted to order a 5x7 print of this photo, I would open up print products, choose 5x7, and then, once again, I would adjust the photo so that it looks nice within the frame. Um, be careful. Don't zoom out too quick, too far, because if you do, uh, these white bars on either side will get printed on your photo, and that's not, that's not attractive. So you want to make sure you don't have any white bars in that aspect ratio. If you change your mind and you wanted an 8x10, you could choose the 8x10. That will load in, and in this case it applied a border, so again, I don't want that border. I'm going to choose blank options. And notice that the aspect ratio did change, just as before. Make sure that you don't have the white bars on the side, because they will get printed. Make sure you zoom in so you don't have the white bars. Position the photo so that it looks nice, and you're all set with that. You do have a choice between glossy and matte finishes. so. Uh, whichever is your preference, the photo finisher can provide um, either finish to the photo. There's a nice long list of photo gifts that you also have the opportunity to purchase, if you so choose. Um, I'm certainly not going to go through all of these, but mugs and steins and mouse pads and all kinds of fun things. If you were to choose a mug, um, the uh, website will give you an indication of what the photo will look like you do have the ability to adjust uh, within. Now this is going to wrap around, so this would be better suited for a, uh, a landscape photo. Um, there's puzzles, and there are um, lots of other things. So again, in, in a case like this, make sure that you would fill the entire frame with the photo. That way the entire puzzle would include elements of the photograph. It's fun to play with. Okay, if this is something that you did want to purchase, you would add it to your cart. And right now I've got a quantity of one and the price is $34.99. We're going to add that to the cart. This is for the puzzle. And you get another um, indication of what it's going to look like. I do have the ability to edit if I, if I wanted to provide further editing. I do have the ability to change the content or the quantity uh, a bit, and if I'm if I'm happy with all of this, I can check out. This is standard web-based shopping. Um, you would enter your first name, last name, address, your state, um, your email address is pre-populated. If the billing address is different than the shipping address, um, then you would uncheck this box and. Uh, continue on, and this is required to uh, go on to the next page. So, pretty standard, pretty standard stuff.
and we continue on. And the website is going to um, ask for um, confirmation on shipping and billing. And then it's going to ask for a credit card number, either American Express, Visa, or MasterCard. Once that's all completed, hit Place Order Now. If I change my mind, I can always come back to the shopping cart, clicking the shopping cart icon, clicking X, remove it, and come back home. And I'm back right back to My Photos. Um, we're also providing to you on the My Photos page, as well as Photo Options page, the photo release. So that's nice and easy to get to. If for whatever reason you didn't like this picture, you can hit Delete, and the photo was deleted. You can download this picture, again, either the current one or the All Photos, as I showed you in the first video. And the last thing I want to show you is the ability to share this picture. You can share this picture via email. And if I click on the email icon, you put in the addressee of the person you want to send the photo to, and you can send the current photo or all the photos. They get a, a, low, resol a low resolution image in their email account. You can also share on Facebook and um, You can put in a, um, a description, having a great time at Dolphin Quest, and post it. And what the website is going to do, and this went over to another window, is come to a login page for Facebook. And of course, you would put in your personal Facebook login information and password. And that would post on Facebook. And you can do the same thing with Twitter. So, um, downloading. Sharing via email, Facebook, Twitter, ordering photos, prints, photo gifts, and all the editing capabilities along with adding borders and stickers. Uh, quite a lot here. Um, really makes the photos fun. Thanks.